Okay, today we're making an egg dip special. Not like a normal egg dip. Uh, very, very cute, very nice. It's how I like to cook it. This is how I do it. So I've had one egg, as you do, in your, in your bowl and you, you whisk it up. But I don't add no milk. There's a reason behind that. So I add a bit of sugar, uh, um, a bit of salt to it and I mix it up like that. Then I'll get my bread. Now I, I'm not a great bread lover. So what I do is I buy a small nice little Warburton's. Yeah, I don't know. Right, so there's your little Warburton's. You can do this with a full size bread with this exactly the same amount as eggs. So then you push, you, you get your egg cup. Hence the reason the egg cup. And in the middle of the bread, you just pour it and put some pressure and give it a twist. Now, you'll see now that what happens is it pops all out. Don't throw that away, it's useful. <laughs> so now you've got your, your bread there, what, what you normally do in the egg dip. So, we're going to do the same now, just like you would normally do with your egg dip. Like that. So we're going to coat it. But don't get this thing got no milk in, no milk whatsoever. You don't want milk in this one. But it's going to be an egg dip. Just the same, you'll see, and there's going to be loaves left as well in this particular thing. So I'll pour that over afterwards. Then you get your egg ready. You don't need it yet. So, yes, you're over egg. Because this is the special, this is beautiful, this is lovely, okay? So now we're going to move over to the cooker. So at the cooker, what you do now is you warm your oil up. And you have quite a bit of oil in there. I know some people don't like oil, but I do, so I ain't bothered. I'm not a health freak, right? So, you get your egg ready, ready, your egg your bread, drop it in. And as you can see, I've got it nice and hot. So now we're going to pour that in because we, we want that as well. So here you go, nice egg. We're going to whisk it around. Wow. As you can see now, it, it's cooking quite nice, that isn't it? It's a bit like a fried egg, you could say. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab that now. We're going to turn over. You don't want to overcook this, by the way. Don't overcook it. Whatever you do, don't overcook. It is necessary not to overcook it. So, just do that now. Get rid of some of the egg there. There it is. It's cooking away, as you can see. Now we use the other egg. Now we put this egg in. Into the hole. Note I cleared the hole. So drop that into the middle there. And you see that it will go through and it'll start cooking. And don't forget, we don't overcook this. So, just give it a sim and give it a flick like that. Yes, it's very, very greasy, but really nice. Trust me, try it before you don't like it. <laughs> try it before you say anything. You do the same with egg dip, so there's no difference. So you slide that on your spatula and then give it a flick, as if you're cooking a pancake. I'll give that a couple of seconds on there, like that. Obviously you don't want to overcook it. Now back to the plate. So here it is. This is my eggy dip. So we're going to flick it over like that. And you've got what you see there. Me, I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Me, I'm a monster. I like my red sauce. So get my red sauce on. Yeah, get the red sauce on. You don't need all that sauce, by the way. Just me. I'm an ogre for red sauce. And then what you want, obviously, is you want your knife and your fork. So, get 
taking off and fork out and they're ready. Now, what you see there now is you've got you've got a bit of scrambled egg there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Now here you've got your leggy dip. And it's nice because it's all the way through and it's quite nice and it's good. Well, as you're eating some away, in the middle, look at that. You've got your, your soft fried egg, which is lovely. Golden brown and juicy. Look at that. So, as you're eating your egg dip, rather than being plain and boring, you've got the nice succulent wetness of your middle of your egg, your yolk, what you want, and you've got a nice eggy bread as well to go with it. How good can you get? Oh, yeah. Mm. So... You can cut the corners off, eggy bread, dip the eggy bread in the middle, got a nice, beautiful any. Oh yeah. So, that's what you got. A beautiful eggy dip with a surprise in the middle. The, the well of gold in the middle so I always find out that uh, eggy bread is quite blanche but my special with the hole in it when you cook it look at that beautiful before you knock it try it Okay, I'm just going to finish my eggy bread. See you later. Enjoy.